So if we select devices from the main menu, we can then navigate and select the attached USDR board. Going back to the main menu, we also have options for instances, streams, cloud storage and apps. From the apps page, we can select to create a new instance of an application, such as a simple real-time spectrogram display, for example. From within the spectrogram app, we can set the frequency, bandwidth and sample rate, and then start streaming. And here we can clearly see a 3MHz LTE signal from a local test base station.